Hello ABs, Ageless Beauties, and ladies and gentlemen, LGs. This is the lady, and I wanted to come in and, uh, and talk about what's happening in America. Talk about what's happening to the human race. Um, as we see on television, and we hear all of these horrible, horrific, well, whether it's at the hands of police officers or within your own community, our children are dying. Our children are being killed. Our children, our children, 14, 15, 16, 12-year-olds shot down. And all we can see and all we can say is it's happening to those people. It's happening to the poor people. It's happening to thugs. That's how we can disassociate ourselves with what is happening to our children. As long as we can categorize those people, that's happening to only blacks. That's happening to only whites. That's happening to only Hispanics. Asians. It doesn't impact me. It doesn't affect me and mine. And so I don't care about what's happening to the children because they're not my children. Unfortunately, if we continue, unfortunately, if we continue to feel this way, to think this way, to act this way, it will become your children. It will become my children because we didn't act when it was those children or their children. And what we do to the children, what we do to the least, we do unto God. And look what we are doing to the children. Look what's happening to our children. And where are their voices? They can't be heard from the grave. They can't get justice because we only hear one side of the story because their voice has been silenced. As if those people, as if thugs and poor people don't deserve justice, don't deserve a voice. It's Christmas and those children, those people, those thugs, those poor people. Their parents will go without their children this Christmas. We've got to stop and open our eyes and look at evil for what it is. Evil has no color, no gender, no loyalty. Evil is what evil does. And it will turn on each of us. It's not just in the black community. It's not just the poor people. Evil is everywhere. There is, there is a war going on right now, you guys. It's, a, it's, the, it's the war between good and evil, right and wrong. And we are losing the battle because we are divided into categories. And, what, what the, and the saying is, when you can divide, you can conquer. And as long as evil can keep us divided by black and white, Asian and Hispanic, by gender, by sexuality, evil will look as it will, it will, it will win the war. Evil will conquer us all. 
And this is what we, as we turn our backs on those people, on those children, that's what we're doing. We are allowing evil to win this war. We can't fight evil with just our human flesh. We need godly intervention. Let's just put it out there and say what it is. You cannot, we cannot fight evil by ourselves. We have to have a godly intervention. We have to have God on our side. We're not going to fight. We're not going to win this battle with flesh and blood. This is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle between good and bad, right and wrong, God versus evil. And in order for, and in order for God and good and right to win, God needs soldiers. He needs us. to open ourselves up to him, for him to use, to defeat evil. This country was built on the saying that in God we trust. And yet, we've done anything and everything but trust God. And therefore, our children, our children, not those children, not the uh, not those children, not the poor children, not just the black children or the white children, but our children are dying. Some are even committing suicide. This world, they. They, are, they rather take their own lives than to, live, than to live in this world that we, the adults, have destroyed, have made into this evil place, this unjust system, simply because we are concentrating so much on black versus white. And we're focused so much on the black issues and the white issues that we're not focusing on the real issues. Our children are dying. Well, I wanted to come in and um, voice my concern, my observation, my belief is that right will always win over evil. We just need more people on our side. We need more people trusting in God and allowing God to order our steps, to guide us, to show compassion, And that's all I wanted to say and share with you guys today. And that's all that I wanted to come in and share with you guys today. That's what's on my mind and in my heart right now. And I just wanted to share that. Leave your comments. I'm sure I will get some evil comments as well as some good comments. And uh, I welcome them both. I'm strong enough to handle them both. I, th I thank you for listening, for commenting, subscribing, but more importantly, I thank you for getting on the right side of this war. This is the lady signing off. You guys be blessed and a blessing, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.